Horace, the Sky God Pharaoh. Family Guy, try not to laugh, Charles. Let's go. I got a real hankering for pudding. Now so I weird. I now I got a hankering for pudding. Thinking about pudding on the way over here. It's gotta be that new billboard advertising pudding on the highway. We all drove past it on the way here. You're too sweet, Huck. None of the past matters. I just remember CBS Outdoor advertising on the bottom and three pigeons sitting on top. You're bad at looking at billboards. That's real what? pudding in there. What? No. That's like an insult. That's the most pathetic insult ever. Isn't they wouldn't put real pudding on a billboard, Peter. Look, there's only one way to settle this. I am climbing that billboard to prove it's real pudding. All right, there's no pudding, but there is a kid up here. That's the lost Nicholson kid. He's been missing for a week. They arrested a custodian because of you. Mikey, you're safe. Thank you so much for finding my boy. Thank you for finding her boy. I'm the stepfather. I'd like to present you with this key to the city. I am a man who unintentionally saves kids. Wow. 20 years on the force and no one's ever clapped for me. I don't think. I just do. I wanted to see if a billboard had real pudding in it. So I climbed up there and came out a hero. Peter, that thing you said about not think... I'm so sorry. It's been like 500 years. Ah, oh, this is your big moment and I'm ruining it. <laughs> sorry, I forgot my jacket. I want you to put me in the booth. I want to feel like a person for a second. Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. All right, Quagmire, you do upper, I'll do lower. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Uh-oh. Guys, guys, put him back up. I just thought of something. <laughs> this is going to be a blast. And don't you worry, I'll be ready. Unlike Lois getting dressed for a night out. Tell them the truth. It's me. It's me. I'm the one who takes too long to get ready. It's because I don't have any nice clothes. Peter? All right, it's because I don't like the way I look. Okay, nobody move. Oh, my God, those guys in first class have guns. Cleveland, just be happy with what you have. Don't envy people. This plane now belongs to us. You move, you're dead. So nobody try to get smart. Hmm, page 100. Hmm. That'll be $16. That's expensive. Yes, sir, everything's very expensive because you're paying for it on an iPad. And just sign by dragging your bare finger across this thing I use to masturbate. What? Uh, okay. Thank you. Please make sure to bang your head on that low-hanging thing. What are you... You want a napkin? Yes, please. All right, here's 40 blown by the wind. Nigga. Peter's brain. Yeah, uh, this is the muscle department. What the hell is he doing? Uh, he's trying to sprint. Has he had any water? No, he told his wife there's juices in the hot dogs. Well, I'm sorry. I got no choice but to call for a complete muscle failure. <laughs> Crashing this plane into the ultimate symbol of American materialism, Las Vegas. You know, I've lost a ton in Vegas, but I never thought I'd lose my life there. You know, you are seriously funny, man. I know I crap on you a lot, but sometimes when I'm driving, I think about stuff you say and I laugh. Thank you, Peter. No, thank you. 
What the hell? Hey, Chris, get in here. This is impossible, right? All of Meg's farts here in this box? I would think that's impossible. Yeah, right? That's impossible. Is this the box? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's impossible. I know, it's impossible, right? Okay, okay. all right, I'm opening it. Unless whoever sent it was magic. Oh, well, now that's interesting. Dad, I got bullied at school. They flipped up my lunch tray. Oh, that sucks. I wonder if that's the worst thing that ever happened to a guy. Billy, this guy in this book here, he's really getting the business. Yikes. What happened at school today? I'm kind of a dick, Dad. Huh. I wonder if there's anyone in here whose dad was a bigger dick. Wow, crazy. He can't have a bat flying around the house. We gotta do something. Don't worry, Lois. I'll get rid of it. It'll be a piece of cake, just like my penis enhancement. I want it to hang down to my knees. They moved up my knees. Oh, hey, high five. Hey, did you just high-five that sign? Yeah. You think differently. Get in. His name was Derek, but he went by the Prophet when times were good. I moved on to his prayer farm with 45 other members of the Salvation Star Boys who died in a mass suicide. But not me, because I don't like root beer, and I only drink... Wait, what? I moved on to his prayer farm with 45 other members of the Salvation Star Boy. His name was Derek, but he went by the Prophet when times were good. I moved on to his prayer farm with 45 other members of the Salvation Star Boys who died in a mass suicide. But not me, because I don't like root beer. <laughs> I only drink what I like. I called Lois to pick me up. She was mad. But she's what Derek calls an oppressing doubter. May the light of Derek's invincible diamond shine through you. <laughs> know about this, Dr. Hartman. We might need a little bit of time. An oppressing doubter. May the light of Derek's invincible diamond shine through you know about this, Dr. Hartman. We might need a little bit of time to think this over. Yeah, because we don't want to make a big mistake. Like when I peed next to the chatty guy. Man, we should get out of here. The building's on fire. Hey, pal, not now. I'm busy. Anyway, I'll tell you what's on fire. My urethra. That's the last time I go to a water park. I'll tell you that much. Plus, the truth is, the kid... Oh, my God. I was the chatty guy. We've got to get to the hospital and get Stewie vaccinated. Well, might be a little too late for that. I kind of destroyed all the vaccines in town. <laughs> all right, what else did I have to do today? Ah, yes, overdose in my apartment. I better get home. Griffin, leering dad. A quick question. In Shake It Off, you invite us to get down to, quote, this sick beat. Yet the beat you then provide is rather mild. Hi, Taylor. Stewie Griffin. I'm your biggest fan. Okay, so let's talk about Harry Styles. Now, you don't have to say anything. I'm just going to slowly pull out this tape measure, and you indicate when I should stop. Okay, here I go. Still going? Oh, my God, you bitch. Seriously? Look, don't get me wrong, guys. I, I think it's hilarious, and, and I totally get that the sex thing is what made me popular, but... Oh, my God, you bitch! Seriously? Look, don't get me wrong, guys. I, I think it's hilarious, and, and I totally get that the sex thing is what made me popular, but... Would it kill us to just once tell a joke that brings glory to God? Which one of you idiots wrote this script? Uh, I did. Oh, would you write it, like, on a computer? Yeah. So you know a lot about computers? Yeah. Can you show me how to turn off the flashlight on my phone? And another thing, I read this piece of garbage script. It's only one page. I'm never gonna cut it. Uh, that's just the cover. You can turn the page. Well, why are you hiding all these pages behind the first page? Stand by your work or get out. Now spit in each other's mouths. You know I'm only tough on you because I hate you, right? Oh, my fun. God! <laughs> Hurry! I can't hold it! Okay, let me just unstrap my baby! Oh, 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 slipping, slipping, sorry! Thanks for letting me ride on a bus with you. Hey, you want to have some locker room talk? I moved on her, actually. Whoa, 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 that's not a locker room talk. As long as you didn't try to f*** her and she was single. I did try and f*** her, she was married. Oh, you're awesome! Hey, thanks for letting me ride on a bus with you. Hey, you want to have some locker room talk? I moved on her, actually. Oh, 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 slipping, slipping, sorry! Thanks for letting me ride on a bus with you. Hey, you want to have some locker room talk? I moved on her, actually. Whoa, 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 that's not locker room talk. As long as you didn't try to f*** her and she was single. I did try and f*** her, she was married. Oh, yeah. Thanks for letting me ride on a bus with you. Hey, you want to have some locker room talk? I moved on her, actually. Whoa, 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 that's not locker room talk. As long as you didn't try to f*** 
her and she was single. I did try and her. She was married. Oh, you're awesome. Hey, you ever thought of being president? And I moved on her very heavily. In fact, I took her out furniture shopping. Couldn't get there. And she was married. And all of a sudden, I see her. She's now got the big phony and everything. She's totally changed her look. Which reminds me, I have an idea for this thing called Twitter, where crazy people can bash ladies and minorities at 3 a.m. She's your girl's hottie in the purple. I gotta use some Tic Tacs just in case they start kissing me. That's the cheapest breath mint. I thought you were a billionaire. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. What, like grab them by the hand? Grab them by the... Oh, my. Why don't we all go ahead and turn to page six in the handout? The first thing you're going to notice is a bar graph. And what that is, is to indicate our international sales. Which peaked, of oh, course, yeah. during the to drop off as we enter the colder weather. The storm's moving away. All right, we can go, Lois. Lois? What? Oh, hey, how do you like my blowout? Yuck. Lois? Why'd that look like Lois? All right, we, All right, we can go, Lois. Lois? Lois? What? what? Oh, hey, how do you like my blowout? Yuck. Lois? 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 Lois. Lois. Is your wife named Lois, too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Uh -huh. Lois! Hey, what are you... Lois! 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 Oh, Peter! Come and get your lollipops. Peter, you mustn't. I've got cream pies, trinkle tarts. Trinkle tarts? <laughs> I'm gonna get so molested. <laughs> hey, where's the vegetable aisle? Yeah. All right, that's three laughs. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.